Morning, Jetty Rockers. Welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well, we're out here today. It is seven o'clock in the morning, so I'm getting a really good start. I'm by myself. I'm solo today. And I think my main plan is I'm gonna go look for some triple tail. I got about four dozen nice select shrimp. I'm all rigged up with some free lines, and I think I'm gonna head out there. Look, maybe look at the cans right outside the inlet. Maybe go look for some floating debris wherever else I can find some something floating, and look for some triple tail. That's gonna be my main goal today. If I can get them or not get them, I may go offshore and do some other kind of stuff, maybe some drift lining for uh, spade fish because I still haven't done that yet. I've been wanting to do that all summer. And uh, maybe do some king mackerel fishing, something like that. But that's going to be the main goal, guys. I'm looking for some triple tail today. Hopefully, we get one. <laughs> guys I'm at my first spot let's see what we can do here I'm just gonna try a couple of these little buoys out here first and then I'm gonna start heading around just driving around so I find something floating Got a little triple tail. He ain't very big. He's a little guy. Little dude. I seen him come out and get it. <laughs> I seen him come out and tag it. That little dude. Well, target species acquired. I did catch what I was after. I did catch what I was after. That is funny. Little little dude. Alright, he swallowed it. Man, how does a fish that small get that hook like that? Alright, well, he will survive with the hook in his mouth, guys. That hook will rust out pretty quick. I'll do less damage by leaving the hook in there than I would trying to rip it out. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Little triple tail. Look at him just sitting there. He's gonna do his thing. All right, guys, well, I got another little triple tail. Just another little guy. Not a big one. All right. Another big one. Alrighty, well, the big ones just aren't here yet, so I'm gonna leave this alone and go offshore. But I did catch triple tail. Just not big triple. Real trippy. See you, buddy. All right, guys. Well, the triple tail was a bust. I did catch two. I did catch triple tail. They were just really small. So I come offshore. I'm about seven, eight miles offshore now. I'm in an area where I've seen a lot of spade fish up in the water column before. So hopefully they'll show up today. I got some strips of clam out the back free lining. Right now I'm going to rig up some stuff for the bottom and we'll start bottom fishing. Maybe we'll catch a couple snapper today. Maybe something cool like a kingfish or a cobia. But we will see what happens, guys. Wish us luck. We're going to get to it. All right, well, I'm making my first drop here. Let's see what happens. It's got a big jumbo live shrimp on here. I'm already getting hit. There he is. There we go. There we go. There's something. It's a decent sized fish. I'm hoping it's a lane. I'm hoping it's a lane snapper. That's what I'm hoping for. It's looking lane-ish. Nope, it's a red one. Alrighty. Well, 
got a red one, guys. Imagine Ooh. that. There are tons of them out here. Man, these things just do not stop. Golly, if you would just stop, I can let you go freely. Alright, come here. There you go. See you later, buddy. Golly. There's a big old barracuda. Oh, a barracuda got him. Holy cow. Big barracuda. There's three of them down there. All right, that gives me an idea. All right, guys, I just dropped down and got a grunt, which is exactly what I wanted. So now, take this right here, click it right there. See if we can't get the cuda. Where's the cuda at? There he goes. There he goes. Uh, he, he didn't want him. He didn't want him. Come on. Alright guys, well I hooked something off the back here. Had a live shrimp out the back. Something got me. Actually, pretty pretty decent size. Oh, what is this? It's a fighting fish. I'll tell you that. A fighting fish. All these fish busting out behind the boat. That's probably what it is. Oh, it came off. What that was something with some teeth, I would imagine. Yep, bit through my leader. What is that? Some big ones behind the boat, whatever they are. Look at that shark. Look at that shark right there. Big old shark right here. Big old shark right here. Oh, that was nuts. That's probably what it was. Shark ate whatever I had. Shark ate it. That's probably what happened. Got something else on the live shrimp. Oop, gone. <laughs> that quick. That quick. I don't know what that was. Just free line of live shrimp behind the boat, and I'm getting my butt worked here. That is crazy. Another clean cut. I don't know what that is. Wow. Hey, Jenny Rockers. Well, we're back. I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of a video. Wasn't much fishing going on out there today. You know, I did catch my two triple tail, but they were really small. Really, really small. The big ones haven't moved in yet. I only got one red snapper. Did hook some cool fish. I hope the shark shows up in the video there at the end because you can just see him going through the water. I really don't know what kind it was. It was a pretty nice sized shark, probably about seven or eight foot. But what we're going to do now is we're going to do some unboxing. I got a new camera, guys. This company is the, uh, the case, the Carso, I don't know how to pronounce that, a Caso, sent me this camera for me to try out. So here in the next video or so, we're going to be recording solely with this camera and try it out, see how it does. So let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a nice little camera. Look at that, guys. That's pretty. Cool camera. Let's see what else we got in here. All right, we got these little bags. Got all kind of neat little stuff in there. Let's see what else in here. I uh, got a battery. That's important. That's what that is. Uh, we got a couple batteries. We got looks like a charger. All right, cool. We got two batteries. Charger. I think this is some kind of remote. Oh, that's what this is. I guess this goes together. 
fit it on your wrist to turn it on, turn it off. That's pretty neat. What else we got here? The cord. Front for the case. Ah, there's a mess here. All kinds of little things here. I send you some stuff with this. This is nice. Very, very nice. Well, some more accessories. Alright, well, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get this camera charging. And as soon as I start using it, I will let you guys know that I'm using it. So you know if that video is recorded with this camera or not. All kinds of accessories in there, guys. I mean, it's just loaded with stuff. Let's see here. Let's just actually take the camera out of this and see what we got here. Right, that's very light. It's a very light camera. Well, that's a pretty camera, guys. That's a nice looking camera. Hopefully it'll work well. You know, it's got some cool little features on it. All right, well, I'm going to get it put together. I'm going to get it charging. And then I'm going to try to go out and film with it tomorrow. Maybe do a, a video with it tomorrow. I might even go out this afternoon because I'm uh, been wanting to go out and do some uh, digging for sand fleas. So I have some sand fleas for the uh, winter for my sheep's head fishing. And there was a few times this past year that I wanted to go sheep's head fishing and there was no bait. So I had to go looking for mud crabs and stuff like that. But I'm going to go stockpile on some sand fleas because we're having a good run of sand fleas right now. So I may film it with this camera. Not sure yet, but I'll let you know when I'm filming something what camera I'm using. If I'm just using this camera, if I'm using this camera, and if I don't say anything, I'm just using my regular old GoPro. But this is the Brave Six Plus, is what they call it. It's the Akeso Brave Six Plus, and I'll put the link in this video to this company so you can go check it out for yourself. If you're a YouTuber and you like these uh, these type of cameras, action cameras, you can go check out the link and you can go to this company and maybe get one for yourself, order one. That's a nice little camera, guys. Cool. And I got another one. All right. I got another little box to open. I had a company reach out to me. Uh, have this little knot tying tool. They wanted me to try out, so they sent it to me. So I'm going to open it up, see what it's all about. I'm going to try it. All right. Here we go. Let's see here. That's how it comes. Like that. There we go. Cool little tools. Right, let's see here what we got here. Let's see what they gave me. Little instructions on how to use it. Here is the knot tying tool, I think. Oh, this yeah, fits on your keychain. And you hook this to it. And there we go. Got some little tweezers or uh, so you can clip your tag ends off. I guess you tie your knot, hook your hook to here, and you pull it tight. Very nifty little tool here. Very nifty. I like it. Right, I'll be looking forward to using this. This will help me out a lot. Awesome. And I'll put the link for everything that I unboxed today, the camera and this. I'll put the link in the description so you can go check it out for yourself. You can order through Amazon. Uh, Multifunctional knot, knot tying kit. So cool little, cool little stuff here. I'll put the company name and everything in the description area, guys. You go check it out. And I will be using this throughout my fishing excursions now because I've been wanting something like this, a little knot tying tool. I will be using it. So you'll be seeing me use this quite often tying knots and stuff even though i don't do a lot of that on camera i will do a few just to show you guys how this thing works because i don't do a lot of knot tying on camera i just do all that all that stuff behind the scenes but that's it guys i got two new toys I got my camera got that stuff so we're going to get back to fishing y'all thank you very much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i don't do very many unboxing videos so i hope this was a little change you guys got to see something different from me and uh, if you are interested in any of these things, the links will be in the description area of the video. So I hope you guys will go check them out. And I'm going to get back on the water, y'all. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers. I'll be seeing y'all real soon.
Hey Joey Rockers, thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.